Hi, this is Ray Dombrowski. Today I want to show you a quick way to get an ink stamp look with your textures in Adobe Photoshop. The textures I'm going to be using in this demonstration are my Photoshop brush textures for the Luxury Grunge Textures collection. These textures also come in Bitmap TIFF, which are great for Adobe Illustrator. So let's go into the layers here and I'll show you how this Photoshop image is set up. Initially I created most of this graphic in Adobe Illustrator and then just brought it into Photoshop because Photoshop will allow you to get a little more control of your textures. I've got a background layer here that's just a solid color. I've got the red type. I've got a little highlight layer. I've got the dark layer. And at the very top, I've got another type layer for the type that goes over top of this graphic. This image is about 4,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels, which is a good size if you're doing t-shirt designs in Photoshop. So let's highlight this red type layer and also make sure our brush, our paintbrush tool is selected. And I've got these brushes already loaded into Photoshop. So I'm just gonna scroll up here and choose Luxury Grunge 23. And you can see that this is a really big texture. It's represented by this cursor shape of the paintbrush tool. Instead of just painting right into that layer, Let's paint into a layer mask. That way it's non-destructive. We can always get rid of the texture or change the texture without messing up the rest of the art. So with this layer highlighted, let's go layer, layer mask, reveal all. And all we're doing is you see how this layer mask is highlighted. We're just painting black into that layer mask. So when we paint black into that layer mask, it paints transparency into it. So that's a good way of adding texture to your design. So if you want it to be a little more of an ink stamp look, what you can do is you can, you can make a selection of the transparent area. So let me go ahead and do that. Let's go back into this type layer, select the main part of the layer, and go select, load selection. And instead of selecting the layer mask, we'll select layer 49 transparency. And just click OK. And you can see that makes a selection around the transparent areas of this layer. So what we want to do is we want to contract that selection. And for this graphic, I think about 10 pixels will look good. So let's go select, modify, contract. Now just the area inside the type offset by 10 pixels is selected. But what we want to do is go select inverse. So now everything outside the opposite of what we had selected previously is selected so there's a few ways to do this but let's go back to our default hard round brush in photoshop and we'll size that brush down to say 30 pixels or so and let's go back and highlight our layer mask so now we're going to paint into this layer mask and what we can do is we want to paint white into this layer mask so basically it's getting rid of some of that texture that we painted in, but just around the edges of the type. You don't want to do all of it, just so you have a more natural look. I've hidden the selection here so you can see this a little better. So that's a slow way. You get a lot more control that way. You can vary up how much texture you want to take out. But since this is a quick video, I'm going to show you the fast way. So instead of just going around here and manually painting away the texture, I'm just going to fill this selection with white. So let's go edit fill and then fill it with white. And it doesn't look quite as good that way, but it is much quicker. And I'm just going to do the same process on the rest of the layers. And then at the end, I'll show you how to finish off the graphic. So if this were a t-shirt design, you're sending it out for screen printing, you could send it out to the screen printer like this. They can make the separations based off of this file. And if you're sending it out for direct to garment printing, and they ask for a transparent PNG, the way you do that is you just turn off your background layer and go file export, either quick export as PNG or save for web legacy. I like save for web legacy because you can see the file as you're exporting it. So I've changed this to a PNG, there's transparency in there. So then we can just save this file as a PNG, send that to the direct -to garment printer. Let's just say I wanna put this image on a website and it's not for a t-shirt. 
what we can do is let's select our background layer here and make a new layer just above that. And what I want to do is I want to sample this dark brown color and let's find a new brush here. I have a few brushes that have texture but also act as borders. So this Luxury Grunge 21 texture is a good one. And you can size your brush up or down with your left and right bracket keys. And I'm just gonna size it up just a little bit bigger than the image itself. And I'm gonna click once just to fill that with that brown color. Now this brown color is way too dark. So what I wanna do is just turn down the opacity of that just so it's a nice little accent for the background and gives us a little bit extra texture. So to find out more about these Luxury Grunge textures, these are part of T-Shirt Design Master Collection 2, one of my largest bundles of T-Shirt design resources, textures, templates, workshops, tutorials. To find out more about that, just follow the link on this page. Thanks for watching.